Hello Almighty, today, I am going to recap the 7th episode of the series, House of the Dragon Season 2. It starts with, Queen Rhaenyra meets Seasmoki's new rider. It's Adam of Hall, and the two encounter each other on the beach, just them and their dragons. He promptly bends the knee to her, saying all he wants is to learn the art dragon riding and serve her as queen. When she asks him of his parentage, he doesn't reveal his father Curlys Valerion. She invites him to Dragonstone. In King's Landing, Grand Maester Orwile is treating Alicent Hightower's wound from the attack by the protesting the townspeople in the last episode. She seems demoralized. She goes to the Kingswood with just Esser Rickard of the Kingsguard and no one else. Meanwhile, Lord Jasper Wilde has heard from his squire that Seasmoke has been spotted with a rider. He tells Larry Strong the news, but considering the source of the gossip, Larry thinks it might be best not to share the intel with Prince Amond yet. Rhaenyra shares the news about Adam with Mysaria but is unsure where she might find more potential riders. Mysaria says the answer might be under their noses, royal Targaryens have frequented brothels in King's Landing for years, and secretly had children out of wedlock. There are many more illegitimate Targaryens out there. Let us raise an army of bastards, Rhaenyra declares. Curlys is also shocked by what Adam has done. He finds him in Dragonstone and gives him leave from his sailing duties so he can study dragon riding. But he doesn't elaborate further or address their relationship, leaving him only with a, well done. In Harrenhal, the young Lord Oscar Tully returns, now as the Lord Paramount of the Riverland following his grandfather's death. The boy clearly has big shoes to fill. He needs to get the Riverlords to trust him, but he must also deal with Demon's request for an army. Oscar decides he'll uphold his grandfather's oath to Visories and support Queen Rhaenyra, but, to appease the Riverlords, he needs to address the atrocities inflicted upon House Bracken, which Willem Blackwood organized with Demon's support. He orders Demon to behead Willem for his crimes so that justice is served. After, Demon has another Visories vision. He's sitting on his bed in his decrepit state, holding the crown. Do you want it still? He asks Demon. How's King Aegon Targaryen doing, you ask? He's trying to walk now, but is in terrible pain. Larys is impressed by his progress, but says he still has to work harder to gain his strength back. The maester says Aegon needs rest, but Larys wants to push him. Curlys does some dragon riding recruitment of his own. He tells Alan that his brother, Adam, is Seasmoki's new rider. Curlys doesn't know the ancestry of the boy's mother, but as for himself, his family hails from old Valyria. If the prerequisite to dragon riding is in one's blood, then maybe Alan might be capable of it too. But Alan refuses, he is, of salt and sea, and doesn't desire anything more than sailing. Another Valerian relative might be in search of a dragon. In the Vale, Reyna Targaryen and Rhaenyra's sons leave for Pentos, but she sneaks off to look for the wild dragon Lady Aaron told her about. Considering Reyna has dreamt of claiming a dragon since she was a child, which the show repeatedly reminds us she might finally get her chance soon. Though Rhaenyra's, army of bastards, plan sounds promising, her son, Jaceres isn't pleased. He's worried it might threaten the legitimacy of his claim as her heir. He knows he's a bastard and that his biological father is Harwin Strong. Could any of these other dragon-riding bastards claim the throne in the future? Especially the ones with actual Targaryen silver hair. Thanks to a game of telephone started by Mysaria, word lands in King's Landing that Rhaenyra is inviting Targaryen bastards to come to Dragonstone to possibly claim a dragon. Ulf is peer pressured by his friends into going. Hugh Hammer also considers it after the death of his child, but his wife protests. Hugh didn't know his father, but his mother, who worked in a pleasure house, was the sister of Balon Targaryen, father of Viserys and Demon. While small folk are leaving King's Landing, Alicent isn't sure she'll ever go back. Out in the Kingswood, she goes to swim in a lake alone. What is she doing out here? Finally, about a few dozen hopefuls arrive to Dragonstone for Rhaenyra's dragon riding auditions. The High Valyrian speaking Dragonkeepers, however, don't approve of this plan and leave. Rhaenyra takes her guests to see Vermithor, the largest dragon in the world after Vagar, and it shows. When the beast emerges from the shadows he towers over Rhaenyra, even more than Seasmoke did, or any of the other dragons on her side so far. But things descend into chaos when the first hopeful steps up. Vermithor lights not only the volunteer on fire but also nearly all the other recruits, sending everyone running into the dragon pits. 
Vermithor only continues to chase after them, setting them on fire, stomping on them, eating them alive, it's like Jurassic Park down there. Hugh finally confronts the dragon, ready to accept his fate, but the creature seems to like his bravery. Vermithor bows down to him, and Hugh pets him on the nose. Rhaenyra hates that she's caused even more destruction, but at least she can claim this win. Ulf, meanwhile, escaped and wandered deep within the dragon's lair. As he stumbles around, he accidentally steps on a dragon egg, awakening another dragon, it's likely Silverwing. Instead of roasting him alive, she chooses Ulf as her rider. Ulf is very new to this whole dragon riding thing though, and when he gets on his first ride, he ends up flying over King's Landing, scaring the townspeople and interrupting a small council meeting. Amond rushes to his own mount, Vagar, to pursue Silverwing and her new rider to Dragonstone. By this point, we know that if Amond and Vagar are chasing you, it's not going to end well, but this time, Amond shows a rare moment of restraint and orders Vagar to turn around. There are at least three dragons with Rhaenyra on Dragonstone, and even Amon knows that if he were to start a fight now, he might not win. That's it for today's recap. Please do subscribe to my channel for more such recaps. Thanks for watching.